Hey everybody, this is the weekly forecast commencing on Monday, September the 30th, 2024. This is a big week because on Wednesday, October the 2nd, we're going to have a solar eclipse in the sign of Libra. We have eclipses every six months approximately, and it repeats the same cycle every 19 years. This solar eclipse is at 10 degrees of Libra, and if you have any planets within three or four degrees other side of 10 Libra or opposite 10 Aries, that eclipse will be putting a real emphasis on what that planet represents. If it's Venus, it's love. If it's Mars, it could be energy, Jupiter, abundance, etc. So this solar eclipse, if it's impacting a planet in your chart, there's going to be a lot of adjustments and refocusing and it could last, the impact could last and unfold for up to one year. Now, solar eclipses can take at least 30 days, if not 60 days, to reveal its lessons. And this new moon solar eclipse on Wednesday, because it's conjuncting communication Mercury, brings a powerful reset in communications, Mercury, relationships, Libra, and peace and harmony for the world, hopefully, um, there's the Libra. It is going to encourage profound shifts in how we express our thoughts and connect with others, sparking fresh dialogues and new beginnings over the coming weeks and months. But before I get into this, the day-to-day transits for this week. If you enjoy these kinds of videos and would like to see more of them, click like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can receive the latest postings. And if you go into the description box underneath the video, you'll find direct links to book an astrology reading or to check out my two question offer. All right, let's start with Monday, September the 30th. The moon that's always sets the kind of the general public tone is in sensible, work-oriented, practical Virgo. It's a good sign to start the new work week. Mercury, decision-making Mercury, which happens to be the ruler of Virgo, but Mercury is going to be aligning with the sun. Um, so the sun is putting a major spotlight on Mercury. Lots of discussions, brainstorming ideas, learning, negotiating, all that mercurial energies of restlessness um, and a lot of uh, and, and, and like brainstorming ideas it's going to be a very mentally charged day. On Tuesday, October the 1st, the moon continues for most of the day in practical analytical Virgo. Um, it's going to be in opposition to the moon, or to Neptune around noon, maybe 11 um, to 1 p.m. Pacific time. And that can bring in a lot of emotional uh, uncertainty. But because it's also at the same time in the best flow of energy to profound um, Pluto that wants to go deep um, through really tap into our feelings on a very deep level, then the Neptune that could bring a little confusion because it's great with Pluto, might, this could be a really intuitive time. So this would be around late morning, early afternoon, Pacific time, to trust your gut, trust your hunches. And at 3.20 p.m. Pacific time, now the moon leaves analytical Virgo and goes into emotional 
uh, a harmonious a relational Libra. And then on Wednesday, late morning, Pacific time, is the peak to the new moon solar eclipse. Eclip uh, new eclipses are just new moons. We have a new moon every month pointing out to our, our, our priorities are being directed, trying to bring in uh, new, new energies, new, new focus. But when it's an eclipse every six months on the new moon, it's like a new moon of new beginnings on steroids. And with the emphasis on Mercury, there's a lot of, a lot of of ideas and conversations and curiosity and restlessness. But the other big thing about eclipses, the general rule of thumb is the week before the solar eclipse to the week after the solar eclipse is when you should not be making any life-changing decisions because with eclipses it's a darkening of the light you may not have all the information um, and and things might abruptly show up and if you had committed and promised something and now you have to change your mind that could bring in a lot of unsettled energies so just kind of like sit with the energy for the rest of this week, give it a good seven days um, to, um, to kind of get a feel of where you think um, you want to, um, you know, what path, what ideas, what decisions you want to embark on. And if you have planets, as I said, around 10 degrees of Libra or opposite 10 degrees of Aries, whatever that planet represents, that's going to be the main uh, focus of the eclipse for up to a year. On Thursday, the moon is continuing in fair-minded relational Libra. But it's going to be a trine or a harmony with generous, expansive optimistic Jupiter, mid-morning um, Pacific time. Now, you could be feeling very emotional, that's the moon, very upbeat and optimistic with the Jupiter, but you, this could also be very favorable for thinking about travel plans, that's Jupiter, educational plans. On Friday, the moon is still in fair-minded Libra, sociable Libra, but about 4.23 a.m. Pacific time, the moon enters into Scorpio. Scorpio in Libra, the energy could not be different because Libra is very um, sociable, fair-minded. Um, how can everybody have a win-win situation? And that Scorpio is like a poker player. They're holding their cards close to their vest. Um, Scorpio is very introspective. It's very private. It's very intense. Um, can be secretive. But Venus, the planet of love and art and finance, will be trining or in harmony with structured, pra pragmatic uh, Saturn. So, Venus trining Saturn for the day, it's a very good day for business, or starting a new job, or, starting, or investigating new business ventures. This is good for uh, making long um, for making financial plans that could be very solid uh, for a long time. Love, well, love when it's in harmonious with Saturn. Saturn gives permanency. It gives more stability, uh, more security, and art. Actually, Venus, the planet of art, Saturn, it manifests. This is a good day to manifest creative projects. On Saturday, the moon is in, continues in Scorpio, that passionate all-or-nothing energies, but by late morning into early afternoon, 
Pacific time, the moon is going to cross over loving, harmonious Venus. The, so emotionally, the moon is really tapping into these loving, creative feelings. Venus, this is really favorable for um, this discussing your relationship um, with your partner or with with your f a friend it could also be or you could be because we're Saturday this could be g a great time for a gathering with friends or starting to uh, connect with friends to maybe set up plans for that Saturday night by mid-afternoon Saturday Pacific time. Now the moon is in harmony with ambitious, assertive Mars. It could be very busy, taking, you know, accomplishing a lot of tasks. And communication decision making Mercury for the day will be in a hard angle, a square, to Mars. Now the mind, Mercury, could be really fired up and going on overdrive with ideas. Um, but you got to be careful with the square. You could be too irritable, too impulsive, making rash decisions. You might be more anxious, more argumentative. So with that Mercury Mars, it would be, and we're going into a set, you know Saturday evening to enjoy yourselves, hopefully, that you maybe want to um, right, center yourself through exercise through meditation, through breathing, deep breaths, to calm the body so you're not feeling so anxious and making snap decisions. Sunday on the 6th, the moon continues in passionate Scorpio, but by mid-morning Pacific time, it's going to be in opposition or confrontation to unexpected Uranus. Moon Uranus, can indicate a time of emotional excitement or emotional upsets. Can be good with the moon and Scorpio, can also be impacting habits. And with the Uranus, this could actually be a good time, mid-morning till noon Pacific time, to break a habit, you know, or to, or to you know, or to quit smoking, drinking, sugar, um, you know, whatever it is that you want to break a limiting habit. And the moon will leave more private Scorpio and go into very outgoing, friendly, adventurous Sagittarius at 4.34 p.m. Pacific time. I want to thank you for watching. If you like information on how to book an astrology reading or to check out my two question offer, visit my website at gardino.co. That's dot co. Until next week, be safe and well.